So we pray, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would pour down your peace upon even the enemy, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Father God. I pray that you will bring peace to this country and to this entire world, Lord Father God. I pray, Lord Father God, for the peace of Israel, Jerusalem, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Father God. He, you said in your word, we will pray for our enemies, Lord. So we thank you right now that you begin to deal with these people, these leaders, Hamas and Syria, Hezbollah and everybody else, Father God, that's involved, Father God, with these terrorist acts, Father God. So we thank you right now, Father God, we send your words into this country, Father God, and let your will be done, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. 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 There's so much destruction that's going on, people, right now. Not only in Israel, but throughout this world. Amen. Look at the destruction, the difficulties, and the suffering that we're all going through. Especially in this country. The leadership that we have has no backbone. They haven't said nothing about helping Israel. In fact, we have 20 Democrats that are against about what's going on over there. Amen. We have to pray for new leadership. These old geezers that are in there right now, they've been there too long. Right. It's time for some new meat, for some new thoughts, new ways, new direction. Amen. But we need godly people yes, in Washington. We need godly people in California. We need godly people in our Indian Valley, who are cities and mayors. Amen. So continue to pray for the people. Amen. But tonight I want to open up with this word before I give you the title of the message. Amen. I want all of you to turn over to the book of Joshua, chapter 1. Yes. Mm -hmm. Joshua, chapter 1 is right after the end of Deuteronomy. Amen. And I want to open up with a couple of verses because of everything that's going on. And sometimes, even when we are going through some issues in life. Amen. The word of the Lord said that after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass, tell somebody, it came to pass. It came to pass. Amen. It came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Moses, assistant, saying, Amen. See, you never know how God's going to set you up. See, because Joshua was obedient and he was a faithful man to the man of God. Because he knew that Moses heard from God. Amen. And Moses became an example to Joshua, even to Caleb. Amen. Mm -hmm. Moses, my servant, is dead. He says, now therefore arise and go over this Jordan, you and all this people to the land to which I am given to them, to the children of Israel. And this is the land where they're at right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, every place that the soles of your foot will tread upon, I have given you as I have said to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, and all the land of the Hittites and the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your territory. He says, no man, tell somebody, no man. No man. No man. No man. When, when you're with God, no man can stand against you. The word of God tells us this. If God is for you, who can be against you? You guys know the word, huh? You guys been reading, you guys been hearing. Amen. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. No, all the days of your life. Thank you, Lord. And no matter what people are saying and doing, people, you have to remain solid. You have to be steadfast with the things of God. Amen. He says, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Now, if God was with Moses and God was with Joshua, what makes you think that God's not with us now? Huh? Even more so now because we've got Jesus Christ in our hearts. We know who the Holy Spirit is. Back then, they didn't have no clue who Jesus was. But now we got more We got more than Joshua had in the Spirit. You have to believe that. And you have to step out in faith to believe that. Then we got more than what Joshua had. Amen. Amen. And these are the instructions that he gives us. Look, be strong and have good courage. Be strong and have good courage. For to this people you shall divide an inheritance, the land which I swore 
to their fathers to give them. Only, it says, only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to the law. You know that there's things that we, get, that we have to obey even when it comes to the laws of God? Yes, we live by grace and the grace is great, the mercies are good, but you know what? We also have to obey the commandments of God. Amen. You just can't do what you want when you want. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of people that, that are leaning too much on one too many things, and they're not really going and thinking and reading everything that God has to say. Amen. 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 Verse 6 again. He says, Be strong and of good courage, for to this people you shall divide an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God, people, to prosper wherever you go in life, no matter where you're at in life. You know that God wants to bring prosperity into your life, people? And too many people are holding back. You better get ready, Robert. <laughs> Sign me up. Amen. You already signed up. Amen. 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 God was just waiting for you to say yes, Amen. Lord. Yes. Amen. God is getting ready. But seriously, people, I know, we know, I know this for a fact. I've been through all this. I've been through all this. And you know what? It's not worth looking back. My faith is in God, people. I put my eyes on the Lord, and I know what God has in store for us. He's been showing up. Oh, my God, all these years, he's been showing up. He's been showing up. And every time he shows up, when he shows up. <laughs> Seriously, people. That's right. Seriously. It's like this. Look, a couple of weeks ago, and I'm telling you this. This is a testimony for this church and this ministry and for all of you guys of what God is doing in this way. Look, by rights, I had to pay for the air conditioner. Guess what? I didn't have to. God found, I found favor with God. Amen. Not only did the landlord replace one unit, he replaced two units. Amen. It would have cost me fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars. I would have been starting a building fund again. <laughs> Seriously, people. Look, we're not banking. We're not raking in the bus, but God is being good. Amen. Amen. Seriously, people. And the Lord provided. Amen. You just got to remain faithful. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Let me read verse 7 again. It says, Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe, it says, that you may look into, to do, it says, according to all, it says, the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. He says, do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. Amen. Amen. How many people want to prosper in life? Amen. Come on. Yes, of course. Amen. It's a promise from God, people, that you would prosper wherever you go. Amen. Amen. He says, this book of the law shall not be cut from your mouth. But you shall meditate in a day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. Amen. You know, this morning in my time of prayer, when I was in my time of devotion, when I spent time with the Lord before I go to work, the Lord told me, He said, You know what? Just keep the faith. Amen. Just keep the faith. Plain and simple. I heard those words as I was reading. He said, Just keep the faith. It's not hard for me to keep the faith, especially when I know that God is going to. Show up. Amen. He says, This book of the law shall not be far from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then, he says, you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Jesus. Amen. He says, Have I not commanded you to be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid. And do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, if you can't stand and believe in faith about what I just read, because God is getting ready to do some things. Amen. 
No, God is getting ready to do some things with some people. Oh, amen. Too many people. Yeah. This is why he said, look, no matter what you see or what you hear, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just step out in faith to do what God called you to do. Amen. It's going to come to pass, people. No, it's going to come to pass. Tell somebody, it's going to come to pass. You have to believe it. No, you have to believe it. You have to believe it. You have to believe it. Amen. Oh, my God, people. So tonight, tonight, the title of the message again, people, Surviving Through Difficult Times. Amen. Look, Joshua had no clue of what he was about to face. Why do you think the Lord told him to be strong and courageous? Because he was going to be facing some challenges along the way before he got to the promised land. Well, see, you guys didn't put that up. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to face some challenges, but he was prepared his heart and his mind. He looked, he looked, look, be strong. Get strong, minded, not physically. Amen. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid of what you see. When you see those giants, when you see the, the land, he says, I've, I've already given you a promise. What I swore to Moses, I'm giving it to you. All this shall belong to you. Amen. 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 And he faced some giants. Look at the first battle that he went to, the walls of Jericho. Man, he had no clue what he was about to do. But didn't he say to obey my commandments? And what did he tell Joshua to do? To march around what? Jericho, what? Seven, Seven times. times. Amen. And look what happened at the end. Then he had to tell the people. <laughs> Don't say a word, but we're marching around the wall. <laughs> Can you imagine what these people must have been thinking? Huh? But he says, as we have obeyed Moses, we shall obey him too, Joshua. Amen. Because they saw some things that were happening. Amen. So we have to be obedient to the word and not knowing. Look at what happened at the end of the seventh day. The walls came down. And he was victorious. Amen. But look at everything that happened with Ahab. Amen. Look at Remember what the Lord told him? Whatever you do, don't touch the accursed thing. Don't touch it. Tell somebody, don't touch it. Don't touch it. That's why MC Lammer said, Don't touch it. And Joshua told them, you can't touch that, whatever you do. But there was all, there's always going to be that one person that goes beyond and crosses a line before him. And he took the accursed thing. He took the purple lamp. He took the silver bars. And what did he do? He went in and hid it into his own tent. Amen. And all of a sudden, Joshua lost 3,000 men because of one man. And he fell on his knees and the Lord told him, get up. <laughs> he says, there's sin in your camp. Why well, I told the people not to? And they did it. Who was it? And one by one by one, and all of a sudden the Holy Spirit fell upon Joshua and he pointed out Abraham. He says, why have you done this? Why have you brought so much pain and hurt into the camp? And God dealt with him. Then the people stoned him and his family and all his goods. And then they put a heap of stones around and around that, and that was a sign to the people. See, this is why the Lord told Joshua to be strong and courageous. And these are the difficult times, people, that we go through. Sometimes we suffer by choice because of the decisions that we're making in life, people. Sometimes the enemy paints a pretty picture for you. And the consequences, he never lets you see the consequences. He only lets you see the things that are up front. You don't know what's behind that wall. Amen. Amen. But these are the things that we have to do, people, in order for us to continue to strengthen ourselves. Amen. 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 Turn over to the book of Matthew. Amen. Amen. In the book of Matthew. So how do we survive through difficult times, people? In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, starting in verse 33. Very familiar verse for all the theologians that are in here. <laughs> Amen. He says, but seek first the what? The kingdom. kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? We're not going to go to heaven to seek the kingdom of heaven. We're going to seek the kingdom of God through his word. You know that every time that you open up this book, God is speaking to you? Yes. And 
It's up to you whether you receive it and believe it or not. Amen. This is why he's saying, though, but seek first the kingdom of God. That's the first thing we have to do. We have to look into his work, you know. Even when we're going through difficult times, even when we're going through some sufferings, even when we're going through some setbacks in life. Amen. Amen. We've been there. We know what it's all about. We know where to go. Look, all the answers in life are in this book, people. Seriously. Every issue that you're going through right now, if you're going through, everything that you're suffering through, the answers are in this book. They're in this book. And he's telling us, look, but seek first the kingdom of God. You want an answer from God? Open up the word. Read the word for yourself. Amen. You don't have to wait for an audible voice from heaven to come down. In fact, people, you don't even have to have a word given to you. Preach it, Pastor. You don't. You don't have to be, uh, we don't even have to lay hands on you and give you a word. Amen. Your words of prophecy or a word of knowledge. Right. Seek the word of God for yourself before you say what God has to say. Amen. 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 You know what? Every time that I'm going through something, I think about the word of God. I think about what God did with these people. Amen. They're no different than us. Amen. We're still flesh. We're still part of just like that. Amen. Some believe and some didn't. I choose to believe. Amen. In faith, because the word tells me. Amen. Amen. And the word is telling you right here, look, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. Can you imagine seeking the righteousness of God? Wouldn't you like to have the righteousness of God in your life and yes. be right in the sight of God? Amen. In front of man. So huh? That when all these difficult times come and the sufferings come, you're going to know exactly what to do and when to do it and how to do it. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's not that hard, people. Amen. I don't know why people find it so hard to apply the Word of God in their lives and bank on that. <laughs> you know, when you bank on the Word of God, the interest that you get, Amen. Amen. <laughs> the interest that you get, Amen. the payback that God gives you, Amen. oh my God, people. Amen. Amen. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. I can tell you, I can look at people right now and see where you're at in life, and I can tell you, you have not been seeking the word of God. You have not been seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. Because there's a lot of people that just hear the word. But they don't do the word. And James tells us this. James is telling us this. You just can't be a hearer of the word. You gotta be a doer of the word. Just do it, people. Be obedient to yourself. Don't worry about anybody else. Like my wife was say, don't be a don't, look, That's why the Lord told Joshua, no. Whatever you do, don't look to the left and don't look to the right. But too many people are looking around. And they're not looking at what God is pointing. Amen. He says, therefore, he says, do not worry. In other words, people, not about the Greek is. Not the Prabhupes. Don't you like that in Spanish? <laughs> Doesn't that sound good? Nada said, what's the Prabhupa, man? I already told you, your last name is Martinez, right? You should know. He says, but see, first of kingdom of God. <laughs> Look, I don't know about you guys, people, but you know what? I can't go one day without not reading this word. Every single morning at 4.30 in the morning, I'm in this word. Every time at 5 o'clock, I'm passing through this building. I'm just thanking God that we have a place that we can assemble with one another. And be in His presence to worship and to praise Him. To assemble with one another and feed on each other. You guys don't know what, uh, what that means to me. Amen. Seriously, I thank God for your giving. I thank God for your tithes. Because it's your giving, it's your faithfulness that you have in God that is keeping these doors open. Amen. 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 Can you imagine if you didn't pay your rent? Huh? Can you imagine if you didn't pay your mortgage or your car payment? Huh? What would happen? You'd be evicted and you have be repossessed. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Seriously, people, we have to be thanking God so much, people. I tell you what, God has been so good. 
shares with you, boy, and it's gonna get gooder.
some things that God is going to start revealing to some people in this church. And people that are not here tonight, they don't have no clue. Amen? But God is trying to tell us here something tonight, people. There are some things that God is going to start revealing to you. Amen. Look, Robert, you just got a revelation. Here you see it. Yes. yes. Amen. God reveals something to you. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to do it. Look, guess what, Robert? We're all witnesses. Amen. 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 And then when we see you rejoicing, then you're going to have another testimony. Amen. And everybody in church is going to remember what you just confessed. Right. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Man of faith. Amen. Amen. Look, for I consider the sufferings of this present time, everything that Paul was going through, people, are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Don't you know, people, that when we all pass away, we're not taking nothing with us? Huh? You know the revelation that's awaiting for us, the inheritance that waits for us in heaven? Huh? If we could only see heaven like we see each other right now, and God was to show you, can you imagine the Lord just to show you one minute of heaven? Oh my God. Take me away, Calderon. <laughs> Bring me up, Jesus. That's right. By Scotty. Star Trek. My Lord, he says, I need more power. I need more power. I can't give you any more power, Jim. I love that. Now, see, you guys, I'm going to start practicing more. Huh? Thank you for all that. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. I'm going to give you some scripture here today. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, starting in verse 7. And this is Paul talking to the church of what he was going through before. Amen. He said, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels. He's talking about our bodies. Amen. That the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Amen. We are hard pressed. Has anybody ever been hard pressed in life? Have you ever been pushed up against the wall yes. Yes. Huh? in life? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, people. Amen. We are hard pressed on every side. People were coming against Paul from every side. It didn't matter where he went. It didn't matter where he went to preach and teach. People were coming against him from every side. Can you imagine? Can you imagine waking up and trying to give out the word of God and people are coming against him, persecuting him, condemning him because he's speaking the word of God? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Can you imagine what this man went through for us and here, mira, la tenemos hecha. We got it made here. We got it made here. We're not being pressed. We're not being persecuted. We're not being pressed hard against anything. And we got it made, people. Where are the people? We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but we are not in despair. Do you think that Paul didn't have some kind of confidence within himself and God? Huh? What would you do if God, Jesus Christ, spoke to you too on the road to Damascus? What did he cost you to go blind and three days later you saw and you received your sight of him? Huh? What would you do if you heard the voice of Jesus Christ? Audibly. Huh? What would you do? Has anybody ever had a Damascus experience? You haven't had it? You haven't gone through some stuff? No, I have. I've been on the road to Damascus because I didn't want to listen to God. I was coming against the church. Huh? And the Lord laid me flat on my back, people. I'm serious. The Lord laid me flat on my back. And he began to speak to me in many ways, in many ways, in many ways, people. That's why I know that I know that God is real. And God does answer prayer. Amen. Amen. He says, we are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but we are not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Amen. Struck down, but not destroyed. Amen. Then in 
verse 16, it says this. Look, it says, therefore, it says, we do not lose heart. Tell somebody, don't lose heart. Seriously, people. You know why he you know says, don't lose heart? Because everything begins in the heart. Everything begins in the heart. It's a heart issue. It's not a mind issue. The word of God says, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will what? Speak. It comes out of your heart when you're speaking. Huh? It says, therefore, it says, therefore, therefore, do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. See, it doesn't matter what you say on the outside, people. It doesn't matter. You know, I know that sometimes it's hard for people to, to understand all this. Don't let the afflictions of the outside world come and bombard you with whatever's going on in your life. It could be in your own home, your household. It could be your marriage. It could be your, your sons and daughters. It could be someone else. It could be at work. Don't let that affect you, people. Because the outside world is trying to bombard you. But the word of God says to be renewed within you. Amen? He's telling us this right here. Look. Therefore, do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing. The inward man is being what? Renewed day by day. Amen? Let me get a few more. I'll be like brother John. <laughs> he says, for our light affliction. You know, to Paul, it was a light affliction. Uh, Can you imagine what he went through? He says, for our light affliction, which is only but for a moment. No, it's only for a moment, people. You know the word of the the world is going through this? And he's going to bring us out of this? Amen? He says, for our light affliction, which is only for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal way of glory. Mm. Amen? Look, well, we do not look at the things which are seen. Amen? But at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are only temporary. Come on. It's just temporary. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Amen. Oh my God. I hope you guys are picking up on something. Amen. 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 Again in the book of Second Corinthians chapter 11. few pages over. Amen. This is where Paul begins to describe his own personal testimony and the sufferings that he's going through for Christ. What are you willing to give up for Christ? No, seriously, people, what are you willing to do for the Lord? Huh? Amen. He says in verse 2 Corinthians 11, verse 22 says, Are they not Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. No. Oh We're the seed of Abraham. We've been grafted into the seed of Abraham by faith. Look at the faith. Look. Because the Lord made him a promise. He didn't say when it was coming, but he said, you will have a son. And you know what? Abraham never gave up. He had enough faith to believe. Guess what? He waited 25 years for the promised child. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And we're supposed to be part of the seed of Abraham? Yeah. Where's your faith in God, people? Yeah. No, where's your faith in God? Put your trust in the Lord, not man. Amen. The word of the Lord says, Curse is the man who trusts in man. Yes. But blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. Amen. 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 He says, Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am born. Amen. Tell somebody I'm a fool for Christ. I'm a fool for Christ. Bunch of foolish Christians. Amen. In labors 
more abundant. Amen. Church, right. Look forward to hell and back, you know? Amen. 
And we're supposed to have the same attitude. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be examples of the Christ that is in us. Yes, Look, Christ was in Paul. And that same Christ is in us now. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Seriously, people. Look, at, I'll give you a good example. Sister Renee. She's the one that lives the furthest. And sometimes she sees you the first one. Right. You go, girl. Amen. You go, girl. <laughs> Seriously, people. And sometimes she struggles to get you. Two hours on the bus. Amen. Good and sometimes example. she's on the bus. And the bus stops right there, yeah. No, they walk from home. From home? Mm -hmm. You can get one for you, and it says right there. Yeah, but it's three buses. I take two buses, it takes me two hours. No get. matter what bus you get, just get here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. No, we need you, Renee. Seriously, yes. Renee, you've been a blessing to Gary. Yeah. You've been a blessing to this church. Amen. 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 I remember when she first went and she didn't want to do nothing. Thank now you. she's over there at PowerPoint and do this. Thank, Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. She's doing what I used to do.
We need him in one week. <laughs> he said, but we got three orders ahead of you. And we only produce these chairs by the orders. I said, look, I don't know what you have to do to get these chairs. I need those chairs by Friday. <laughs> and sure enough, she called me back. This is a special office. The chairs will be ready by Friday, and we will deliver them. Amen. And then on top of that, it was all paid. Amen. Glory to God. You think I don't have faith in God? Huh? If you speak it and believe it, you will receive it. Don't waver. Don't waver. I don't care what you're believing for. I don't care if you believe for a new car, a new house, a new relationship, whatever you believe it for. Don't lose faith. Faith is what moves the hand of God. Oh my God. Everything that God has blessed this ministry with, everything in the Besides the other things, all I say, what comes upon me daily, my deep concern is for all the churches. That's what he was concerned about. He wasn't concerned about his, his, his ministry or nothing. He was concerned about the churches, the people, yes. the ministries that he was developing. Man, he was planting churches everywhere that he went. Some people accepted it and some people rejected it. Mm -hmm. Guess what? None of that bothered him. Because he already heard the voice of the Lord. Amen. 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 You'd be obedient to the mass. Amen. You'd be so obedient just like Paul that you wouldn't care what happened to you. Mm -hmm. Even the Lord warned Paul at the beginning, look, you're going to suffer for my name's sake. Amen? So don't worry what people say about you when you speak about the things of God or the Lord. When the Lord has not blessed you, you say you pray. Don't worry about that. God knows what you release, so blessing. God knows what you pour down that man in your life. Amen? He already knows these things. You have to believe it. Amen? Don't put a time a time on God. Well, Lord, if you don't bless me in 30 days, I'm not going to be a Christian no more after 30 days. If you don't bless me in 30 days, Lord, I'm leaving the church. I'm leaving you, Lord. And the Lord said, well, go ahead. Make my day, Lord. <laughs> Seriously. We can't let go of God. Why do you think the Lord told Joshua, whatever you do, don't look to the left or to the right. Don't be paying attention to those things. You're going to come across a lot of things in life. He said, just be strong and courageous. And every word of the, the foot of your soul, the foot of your soul, he says, I'm going to give to you. I'm going to cause you to prosper more than you ever believe. And it's not only, it's not only about finances, people. Don't you want to prosper in other things? Can you imagine for the Lord to open up your mind to do other things? Huh? For God to be to do, to do some inner healing within you, people, to anoint you with spiritual gifts, huh? to speak in tongues, to interpret tongues, to lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Huh? Miracle signs and wonders will follow those who what? Believe. And keep on believing. So I believe it's over. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Fire. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Why don't we stand up so we can pray? Amen. I gotta go get me some money rings. Oh. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Isn't God good? All the time. Don't forget, Pastor Marshall will be here tomorrow morning at 11. Amen. Amen. For those people who can make it, for people watching on TV land or YouTube or Facebook or wherever you're at, sitting at home, watching that one-eye monster. <laughs>
Amen. Thank you, Father, again. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time, Lord. We thank you for who you are and what you are and what you're about to do with us in the world, Father. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you continue to strengthen each and every man, every woman that's in this place, Father. I pray that your hand would rest upon every home that is represented here tonight, Father. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you continue, Lord, Father God, to strengthen us, Father God. Strengthen us, Father God, that we will not look to the left and to the right, Father, but we will keep our eyes on you, our faith in you, Father, for all things, Lord. So we ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you continue to keep your good hand upon us. God, lead and direct us, Father, that in the way that we should go, Father, and we will not be far from us, Father. Protect us on the road and up the road to the highways and byways, Father. May we all come back together and assemble with one another, Father. In Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.